channel. Uh, today, we will be having the best conversation about relationships. We all know coronavirus is going on right now and you're either going to meet the desperate ones that can't be by themselves, they're really lonely and they need some kind of companionship or you're going to be or you're going to meet the ones that are just oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I don't have anybody that is bothering me and um Single, let's go! Let's fucking go! 2020 is a movie! Yeah, <laughs> that's me 100%. I don't care anybody says, I have been single for a couple of years, and honestly, it's been my whole entire life. In my 20s, I've been single. I've probably been in a relationship for one year only, um, but I have learned so much. So we will be going over um, some of the advices that MJ was sharing with us last week. And he was talking about three reasons not to rush into a relationship. So, I think it's important that I go more into depth. This was a male's perspective, so I will be giving my female's perspective. Although I do agree with the three reasons, I may add an extra reason to there, but here we go. Reason number one. Let's talk about the number one reason why you shouldn't rush into a relationship with anybody, okay? is because this, Feelings are not fact. Honey, write that down. Tweet it if you need to. Like he said, feelings are not facts. Let's not mix those two things together. We as human beings, especially um, emotions tend to take get the best of us, but feelings don't mean anything. You know, for example, um, what is that saying? Um, we make excuses for men and their actions. Well, as humans, we make excuses for many people, our kids, you know, for their behavior, um, the reason why we are stuck at a job. So let's not get into that. But yes, I have met a few people, some of my friends, they have, they've met these men and they're talking to these men and, you know, two or three days, no communication, and now they're like, well, I feel, you feel what? You feel, I feel like he's probably too busy, or I feel like he has a lot on his plate. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm being down his back, or whatever it may be. Stop, stop. Feelings are not facts. Whatever he is showing you, whatever he's expressing to you, however he makes you feel are all facts. If he makes you feel like you're not wanted, maybe because you're not wanted. So I think that's something very important. We have to snap out of this imagination, this, this reality that, that is non-existent nowadays. I think it's best that you take your feelings, get them together, and make a educated and logical decision about the person that you choose to entertain. Because that's what it is until there's a ring on your finger, okay? Just because you may feel like you're compatible, the only thing that can determine true compatibility is time. So that's the number one reason why you don't need to be rushed into no relationship. And the second reason to not rush into relationships is because... The second reason why you shouldn't jump into a relationship with nobody in terms of rushing into a relationship with nobody is because it takes us time to show who we really are to people, okay? And I'm going to tell you this, all right? Nobody's trying to hide nothing. Ain't no facades going on in here. Nobody's really trying to lie to you. We gotta, it's, it's not like, ooh, but people want to hide who they are because they're showing you their representative. That's that real sinister stuff. That sounds real cute on the social media memes. But in reality, most people are not trying to deceive you. In reality, it takes us all time to feel a level of trust. It takes time 
to to know someone to fully grasp their personality their traits what they value what they like dislike these are five different factors there's no way two three months you get to know who this person is because when you meet this person you are initially meeting the representative just like MJ said a representative gives the best foot forward just like for a job you have 90 days it takes 90 days we're not gonna get into Steve Harvey but 90 days to actually see this person's work habits their attendance their their organizational skills their time management skills so you rushing into something within a two three two month period um kind of to me it's a red flag everybody has different you know if you're able to communicate from the beginning of the relationship what you're looking for and you guys are on the same page that is something different but in the 21st century you're living in with the characters that i've seen out there in these streets um unless you're dating someone that is you know 38 and older but sometimes they can be a joke too guys you gotta be very careful um you will be still re meeting the representative representatives <laughs> are lurking in these streets lurking in these streets okay so just you know be very vigilant keep your eyes open um to different characteristics because with time individuals change i am not the same person i was two years ago so the person that i the man or the guy that i may have been entertaining two years ago most likely wouldn't be my type nowadays secondly the qualities and the the work ethic and my mindset is uh, not the same at all guys it is not the same so i ladies do be very careful men too i don't want to just say ladies because you know <laughs> representatives in the women world is it's no joke no joke <laughs> <laughs> for time honey you need to be able to see who is this person as they reveal more themselves what was their childhood traumas what how do they react when they get mad how do they react when they happy how do they react to a good day a bad day all that kind of stuff you're not gonna get all that in 30 days you're not gonna get all that in three days it takes time i believe you really don't really know somebody know somebody until you know them for a year now that doesn't mean you gotta wait a full year to be in a relationship with them but it does mean that there are certain things that just takes time to reveal itself so that I said again at this age of my life honey when I go into my next one I ain't trying to get out of it <laughs> so let's go on to the third reason to not rush into a relationship just like MJ said it's another reason not to rush to a relationship with somebody okay because you don't know their relationship patterns Okay, it takes time to see how does somebody deal with a relationship. You know, some people have, some people are very, 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 very quick to commit, but can't stay committed. Okay, I mean, they will jump into anything just because they in love and enthrall. But six weeks later, six months later, they running for the door because commitment scares them. You know? This third advice kind of keys into the second advice. Um, you don't really know who the person is. Um, you look at their patterns. Um, but I would like to add on to this advice. I would say life changes people. It's not the time frame, but the experience of life. You know, some people between the ages of 27 and 32, they may have had a rough patch in life. You know, they're not that happy person you met four years ago they're not cheer they're not as cheerful they're not as sensitive they're not as open they're not as friendly um due to the life experiences now they still may have some of those core pieces intact within but most of the time it's masked because of that 
So for example, you may have met a man who was extremely, extremely gentle. He was thoughtful, he was caring. Now he still may be that same person, but for, for forbidden, his mother was around. So his mother was around, he had someone that he may, may have been able to speak with about relationships and stuff like that. Now imagine meeting this man when his mother is not around. You know, he may cling on to you a little more. He may not open up. Some men I know hold anger within. It's not their fault. You know, it's a relationship that some men do not know how to process. And some women do not know how to process life itself. There's no, there's no silver spoon or book that tells you how to cope with, you know, the reality of life how to cope with death, how to cope with job loss, how to cope with not being driven. So please take that into perspective. You know, you're supposed to be asking these questions. For example, there was this guy I was speaking to, you know, and he, his dad was not in his life, but that anger is still there, guys. He, it is still there. That hurt is still within him. So he has expressed to me that he doesn't know how to cope with emotion. Just does not know how to cope with emotion. You know, women can't teach men emotion. Women can teach men to be more sensitive. But emotions, coping with emotions, that's something that only a man, I believe, can teach a man that. And only a woman can teach her daughter how to be compassionate you know how to be how to be um, what's that word how to be a woman how to be a, how just just to be a woman in itself um, I think it's very detrimental when meeting people ask questions ask questions if they don't want to answer the questions then that gives you that's a red flag in itself um, ask questions be very aware of the answer that is coming out of this person's mouth because not all answers are right answers they are answers but not always the right one okay so just don't be desperate to be with someone the right person will come work on yourself start something new I know I've learned so many <laughs> trades and I learned how to turn to, I learned how to change the tire change my oil um, just basic things that I think we as women need to know on our own not because I have a lot of time in my hands but even if I was in a relationship and my man is not there to change my tire he's at work or he's out of town who am I gonna call on yeah do it yourself so I think we need to love ourselves before we go finding love from other people because we have to realize there's a hole in our hearts that is making us want to love someone that's making us want to have that emotional tide you know so Thank you, MJ, for your perspective on this topic. I do appreciate it. I hope my perspective um, shines light as well, um, just from my point of view as a woman. Um, but if you have any questions or if you have any comments or you have anything you want to share, please do comment down below. Please do subscribe and follow me on all my social medias. And I will see you on my next video. Good night or goodbye or have a great day. Au revoir. Mm, I love you to death. All right, bye-bye.